Hello and welcome back. Today we'll complete our math series and we have here our first lesson. We are still in our first lesson which talks about the limit of function at a point. And the last time we stopped at the law which said that if fx equals 0 over 0, the limit x equals to 0, then the denominator is a factor of the numerator. And today we will say it another way. For example, if we have lim x approaches a, if x which equals 0 over 0, then here x negative a is a factor of both the numerator and the denominator. For example, if we have lim x approaches a, which here is 3, and we have your x to power 3, negative 4 x to power 2, positive 3, positive x, positive 6, over x to power 2, negative 4 x, positive 3, and we substitute directly by x equal 3 here in the equation we'll have 27 negative 36 positive 3 positive 6 and here we'll have 9 negative 12 positive 3 here we get 36 negative 36 equals 0 and here 12 negative 12 equals 0 then we will realize that x negative 3 is a factor of both the denominator and numerator. Okay. We have here the denominator factorizable. And we will write it like this. x negative 3, x negative 1 here. But the numerator is unfactorizable, so we'll use the long division here. x to the power of 3, negative 4, x to the power of 2, positive x, positive 6. And here x negative 3, x to the power of 2, here x negative 3, x to the power of 2. This will be negative, this is a positive, then negative x to the power 2, negative x, and get negative x, negative x to the power 2, negative 3 x, this is positive, and this is positive, yield 2 x, positive 6, here we get 2, that's 2 x, positive 6, this is negative and this is negative, we get zero. So this is our expression. So here is x negative 3 multiplied by x power 2 negative x positive 2 to give us this expression. Of course, this will go with the one above. To get lim x approach to 3, x power 2, negative x positive 2, x negative 1, and here, get lim x approach to 3 over, and then we we'll substitute with x equal 3 get 9, negative 3 plus 2, over 3 minus 1, to get 8, over 2, to get finally 4. So,
so at this example here we found that the x negative 3 is a factor of both the numerator and the denominator another thing here we have our lesson is that if we have roots in our function in the numerator and the denominator we multiply the function with the conjugate number of the denominator for example if we have here then x approaches 0 x to power 2 plus 2x over x positive 9 negative 3 then here we have a root and if we substitute by x equals 0 here in this function directly we will get 3 negative 3 which will be 0 so we will have to multiply the function with the conjugate number of the denominator So we have like then x approaches 0, x to the power 2, positive 2x over x positive 9, negative 3 by x positive 9, positive 3, and here x positive 9, positive 3, we get then x approaches 0. x, x positive 2, x positive 9 plus 3 over x positive 9 negative 9 so then x approaches 0 will be x, x positive 2, x positive 9, the 3, over x, this would go with this, and the remainder here would be, then x approaches 0, with the 0 plus 2, multiplied by 3 plus 3 to get 2 by 6 to get 1 at last so if we have a root in the denominator we should multiply the whole function by the conjugate number of the denominator as we have done like this to get the result instead of getting 0 or getting an undefined result